With athletes and teams having so much on the line at big sporting events, sometimes athletes try to get ahead by doing things that are against the rules. And well, the consequences of such actions can be huge if they get caught. During a close Warriors vs Pelicans game, a bizarre moment happened when at a really convenient time for the Pelicans the lights went out, which even made the commentators question if there was some sort of sabotage. The Pelicans trying to turn, that's a different way to defend Curry right there, <laughs> is turn the power off. Okay, maybe this goalkeeper took it a little too far, but at the Libertadores Cup, the goalkeeper from Ecuador actually pretended to be unconscious, and when the medics went to check on him, it was clear he was making it up, and decided to just give the act up, which costed him a red card. Not sure how the referees caught this, but a golfer got caught cheating in a really smart way when the ball was in the sand, and he took advantage of a practice shot to move a bit of sand off the area surrounding the ball in a very sneaky way, which took several minutes to confirm it happened. This was his practice swing, and you can see when he took the club back, he definitely took some sand back behind it. Now you can. An interesting turn of events during a play at the semifinals of Houston Rockets versus Oklahoma City happened when, in the fourth quarter, four flops occurred in a single play. Defended by Steven Adams, and as Gordon loses the ball, he attempts to flail backwards for the call. Thunder take over possession. James Harden comes up to defend Chris Paul as he attempts to draw an offensive foul. He also hits the floor. A sneaky attempt from Tony Romo at a football game happened when he kicked the ball a few inches over so he can get the first down, which obviously didn't work. Okay, this might be one of the worst dives in football history, but when a player was pretending to be injured, it kind of looked like he was breakdancing. Okay, this wasn't an athlete cheating, but a fan with an amazing aim managed to throw his hat in a way that made one of the players trip, causing them to lose the play. A kind of embarrassing moment for Bradley Beal happened when he attempted a crazy flop, which even made his opponents applaud his efforts. Wow. Not sure what this cycler was thinking, but a very evident cheating attempt was caught on camera when during a bicycle race he decided to hold on to his team car. A day but just cruise in for the rest of the day and find himself a group. But we've had confirmation that there is a minute and 20 seconds between this group containing Nintendo Nibali. A joke that cost an NFL player $20,000 happened when he jokingly gave the referee $1 as a bribe, which the league didn't find funny at all and decided to fine him. A marathon runner was stripped of his third place medal at the Kielder Marathon after he took city buses to get a massive advantage. And well, he tried arguing that it's not cheating if you keep running in the bus. See, uh, Mr. Sloan, get on a bus, get off a bus, and then run the last part of a mile into the finishing line. Sometimes viewers have a better eye than a referee. A completely unbelievable moment at a golf tournament happened when golfer Lexi Thompson slightly moved the ball when marking position, and no one realized except one viewer that decided to email the tournament officials, which made her lose the tournament. Is this a joke? No, whatever. That's just ridiculous. With Formula One being the most viewed motorsport event and being backed by people with huge amounts of money, teams often have a lot of pressure to win races, and the engineers are pushed to attempt to bend the rules to get a bit of an edge. A known cheating attempt was done when Williams' team fitted a big water tank inside the car that was supposedly used as a braking fluid, but in reality they just dumped the water in the first few laps and got away with having the cars being under the required weight. Even though technically there isn't a rule against this, a tennis player had a kind of annoying strategy of screaming really loudly each time she hit the ball in order to put the other player off. For those who don't know, during a volleyball game if the ball hits the floor, then the point is lost for the team but somehow a volleyball team managed to get away by just keeping it going. And since the speeds of the ball are well over 60 miles per hour, it's almost impossible to tell real time the player actually touched the ball or not. With more than 1 billion people tuning in to watch the World Cup that happens every four years, it can be a lot of pressure for players. A funny acting fail by Brazilian footballer Rivaldo happened when he was hitting the knee with a ball, and he acted like it was a hit to his face.
During a hurdle race when one of the runners misstepped in one of the hurdles, he simply knew there was no way to come back. A very obvious attempt at cheating from a volleyball player happened when he quite literally grabbed the leg of one of his opponents under the net. When a Twitch streamer was playing CSGO in competitive while live streaming, she forgot to switch her hacks off, which was a software that allowed her to see players through the walls, which is obviously against the rules. And well, when she realized what was going on, she claimed it was just a glitch. Yo, you guys, um, you, do you guys ever get that, uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank, that it, it shows everyone's rank? Because my game, I, I played the other day, I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. Despite the incredible technology of VAR systems, some really obvious fouls still go unnoticed. For example, at a tennis match, when Murray managed to get a point, despite obviously crossing the net with his racket. <laughs> the incident happened in Miami in 2014, and I guess the Hawkeye replay system doesn't cover obvious like this. A fast-acting moment from a soccer player happened when he realized he wasn't in the best position to be in and pretended to get hit in order to get a penalty. A sneaky attempt by coach Mike Tomlin to cheat was when he put himself slightly on the field to slow down an opponent and let his team catch up to him. And well, it costed him a fine of $100,000. During NBA games, it's common for a team to huddle in order to make a strategy or share important information. During the Warriors vs. Pelicans Game 5, Draymond Green was caught sneaking into the Pelicans huddle, trying to listen to what was going on. Everybody, you can elbow him right to the face. <laughs> he can't be in your huddle. It's not a game right now. It's not cute if you're the other... A crazy turn of events that happened right after the 2014 Winter Games was when 117 Russian athletes got disqualified when it was found out that there was some tampering going on with lab tests related to doping, and this caused a ban in all athletes from Russia. This might be one of the most advanced forms of cheating, but a cycling champion was caught mechanically doping when officials noticed she was hiding a motor in her bike. The way it worked was she was able to turn the motor on and off with a Bluetooth button hidden in her bicycle handlebar. Okay, not 100% sure why Edmund Sumner thought this might work, but during a Pacers vs 76ers game, Sumner made a pretty dramatic flop. Sumner called for the foul. Embiid joins the flock. Not sure how he thought he was going to get away with this, but an Australian cricket player was caught on camera tampering the ball with sandpaper that he had in his pocket in order to get an advantage. <laughs> 